Good morning, it's Lissy. It is Tuesday, May 10th at 7.15. I was in LA in Beverly Hills from Wednesday to Sunday last week, staying at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and I have like so many things to tell you. I want to tell you about my stay at the hotel, which was like, seriously, the customer service there is just like nothing else. Um, I did some shopping, all of the stuff I ordered and had shipped back to me, because you know the sales tax in California is 9%. So, um, anyway, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm assuming will arrive this week, and so I want to tell you about the shopping that I did out there. Um, and then tomorrow is the party in the park, so I'll definitely check in with you tomorrow because I'll have on a fun, like, fascinator and all that. Um, so that's it, but I, I need, you know, I got to get to work. I, you know, I was out last week. I'm off tomorrow for the party in the park. It's like I'm on an abbreviated work schedule for the month of May. But I did want to show you my outfit today because I'm wearing this fun, I've had this forever. Alicia reminded me of it because um, she has it also. <laughs> Back from when she used to work for a local designer here in town called Sarah Campbell. Um, and this was one of the things from that era. Um, so anyway, I'm doing black and white. I'm going to work. Tonight I just have Pilates, like nothing exciting. Like I'm on SmackDown, like I was off the booze Sunday, Monday, and I'll be off today, and then tomorrow all bets are off because um, it's Party in the Park, which is like a luncheon, you know, middle of the day thing, and then I know we'll go and whoop it up after. But anyway, I just want you to see this coat. So these are the White St. John pants, which by the way, I think are on sale at Saks. So I'll put a link to them. I love them, I wore them out in LA. They're awesome. I'm wearing Chanel sandals. I'm going to take off the jacket so you can see. I'm wearing this Lila Rose tunic top, which I had been eyeing for a long time. Love it. And I'm carrying today, I haven't worn this in a while, my black Balenciaga bag. I have been carrying my Dior bag. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, but today I wanted to be all black and white. So let's see the get up. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, only jewelry is this Hermes thing, big thing, bracelet. <laughs> um, but see, this is like, actually this tunic has like pockets. It's just a, you know, elbow, almost elbow length sleeve. And, um, I just like the fit of it. It's a little, I almost maybe could have done one size smaller, but, um, probably not around the boobs. So that's it for today, and I will definitely be back to you tomorrow for the party in the park stuff, and then maybe like later this week or this weekend to update you on um, the rest of my Beverly Hills trip. Um, have a great day. Bye. Hello, it's Lissy. It is, God, can I see through my netting here? It's May 11th at 1030. Um, so today is the party in the park. The ladies who lunch in their fancy dancy hats here in Boston. It's really fun. It benefits, I don't know, the Boston Parks and Recreation or the Emerald Necklace Conservancy or one of those that keeps up all the beautiful parks in Boston. And I'm so excited. So Alicia was invited to sit at the Dior table and I am invited to sit at the Dior table with her. So I am wearing what I can of Dior. I'm wearing my new Dior earrings and my... Um, my gorgeous Lady Dior with the pearls. Like, I love this bag. Love it, love, love it. And then I'm going to wear my new Dior sunglasses if I can get them underneath my netting here <laughs> when I need them. Um, yeah, see, it's like... <laughs> I remember, like, so Alicia wore this last year, and I remember, like, even just drinking, she was like, you got to get this thing out of the way. It's so funny. Um... But anyway, so other than that, I have done, as I said, like after the jaunt to Beverly Hills in L.A. last week, the wine consumption was off the charts. I don't think I've fully filled you in, which I don't really have time to do today, but I can say the wine consumption was off the charts. And so, um, <laughs> so I've been in SmackDown mode since I got back on Sunday. And basically, I've had no wine. I've been exercising. I went to Pilates last night. I saw my trainer this morning. Um, but today, I'll be back on the side. Like, cocktails, cocktail hour begins at 11. Um, we're not going to get there at 11. We're going to leave at 11, so we'll probably get there closer to 11.30. There's plenty of time for cocktailing today. But um, I just I painted my nails quickly last night just in a light color because they look terrible and I didn't have time. Anyway, um, and then after, we always go... 
whoop it up somewhere every year. Like last year we went and sat outside at the Intercontinental. Um, but usually we end up at the Bristol Lounge. Which, interestingly enough, if you're following the Beebs, he's been in Boston doing concerts, and I'm pretty sure he's staying at the Four Seasons. So perhaps we'll perhaps we'll have more star sightings here in Boston than we did in L.A. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is the new Carolina, the C.H. Carolina Herrera. Um, what has pockets like topper jacket and um, pants? So I'll show you. And I'm wearing this is an old Kenneth J. Lane. Like it looks like um, Verdura like a cuff. And then I'm wearing two Chanel necklaces, this one, and then this one with the big, like, the ball, and then there's another ball hanging. So I'm wearing the matching, you know, trousers with this jacket, and this is a, um, this is like a pleated Ted Baker top. Like, it's one of my favorite tops. I was running around like a mad woman last night trying to find it. I could not find it in this closet. Like, for the life of me, I'm like, it has to be under, like, I must have hung it up under something else, which is exactly what I did. And, of course, that something else was, like, shoved into the back. And I was like, oh, my God, like, I haven't worn this, I don't think, since, like, February. That's how, that's, it, it was with a jacket that I haven't worn since I was in Palm Beach. So, anyway, so let's take a look gander at the getup. Um, oh, and these are Chanel shoes. So this is it for the day. I'm very excited. It's going to be really fun. Um, and it's just so nice when this day ends up being like a nice day. Like the weather today is, like I can see out the window, blue skies, hardly a cloud, and, um, you know, sunny. It's beautiful, and it's going to be like 70 degrees. So you just couldn't ask for a better day. Um, and I guess that is it. So I will likely, depending on the get-ups tomorrow and Friday for work, I may be back then. But if not, I'll definitely come back to you Saturday. Um, Saturday, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to do a little shopping with Alicia. There were a couple things I had wanted in St. John that are now on sale. So we might pop over there. And then I have a hair appointment. Um, although, my, honestly, my hair is looking decent. Like, I'm contemplating pushing it back a week if I can. We'll see. Because my friend Sandy's also in town this weekend from Vermont. And, you know, I hate to miss out. Like, I hate to spend two and a half hours getting my hair done when I could be hanging out with her and Alicia. <laughs> anyway, so I will, in any event, I'll be back to you this weekend because I totally have so much I want to chat you up about with the LA trip. Um, and like I said already, repeat myself, but yesterday, like, I bought a bunch of stuff. I'm hoping it'll all be here so I can show it to you. Um, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Good morning. It is Lissy. It is Saturday, May 14th at 11.43. So, okay, I owe you some information. I probably, I have time now. I have my hair appointment, not till 1.15, so perhaps I can quickly chat you up about my trip out to L.A., so Alicia and I went, it was not this past week, the week before, it was basically Wednesday to Sunday, and um, we stayed at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and that hotel, I mean, I've stayed there now, this is I think the third year that she and I have gone, and I honestly have never stayed in a better hotel than this place, like, the first of all, the hotel itself is beautiful, like, they call it the Pink Palace, it's all pink, it's a total... Um, it's kind of an iconic Beverly Hills, like it's a, an iconic hotel in Beverly Hills. Like over the years, lots of celebrities go there, hang out at the Polo Lounge. Um, it's just, and it's beautiful. The inside is beautiful, but the service, it's truly a five-star hotel. Um, some hotels might call themselves that, but this one really is. So we checked in. They upgraded our room. So basically we had this like patio that was... I seriously think you could have had a cocktail party for 25 people on this patio. It had a, you know, a table and chair, like table and four chairs, um, two, you know, big lounge chairs, and then still plenty of empty space. Um, and then they called up to the um, room, like right after we checked in, and Alicia answered the phone, and they were, just wanted to make sure we were happy with the room. And she's like, oh, God, we love it. And they must have asked her, like, what's the occasion or what are we doing there kind of thing. And she said, oh, it's girls' trip. We come everywhere every year. So 
they were like, oh, do you drink? She's like, do we drink? Of course we drink. So they sent us up a bottle of bubbles. So we spent like the first afternoon just like, it turned out, we got there and the weather was iffy while we were there. But that afternoon turned out to be beautiful. So we like sat on our lounge chairs, drank our bubbles, and then, you know, made our way down to the pool to like hang out down there for the rest of the afternoon. So the first day, really all we did was sit outside. Because the weather, the weather would, like the forecast was iffy. Like it looked like there were clouds and rain, you know, partly cloudy, partly sunny, some rain. And um, so basically when it was nice, we had to take what we can get. The other thing is it didn't look like it was going to be especially warm. Um, and while it wasn't, like, when it was sunny out, it felt warm. So we basically, you know, sat on the porch, sat, like, sat on the terrace, whatever, sat down at the pool, and then the first night we went to dinner, where did we go? Oh, and we had lunch at the Polo Lounge the first day. Um, that's our little tradition of ours. And then the first night we went to dinner, God, I can't believe, I can't remember where we went. Oh, we went to this place, Mastro's. That's why I blocked it. We didn't really like it. Don't recommend it. it. Like, everybody was like, oh, you'll love Mastro's. You'll love Mastro's. It was not our speed. Like, the scene was, it was too much of a scene for us, and the food was just, like, so-so, and the service wasn't really very good. Um, so then that night, we get back to the room, and I can't find my toothbrush and toothpaste. You know, I had put it in, like, a glass on the counter in the bathroom, and, like, you know how in a hotel they cover the glasses when it's, like, a new glass? Well, it was a new glass. And I'm like, where are, where did my toothbrush and toothpaste go? Because, like, they were there when I left. So, you know, in the turndown service, they must have mistakenly cleared them away or something. Because, you know, who would do, I mean, I'm certain, it wasn't purposeful, I'm sure, but it was, they were gone. <laughs> so I called to housekeeping. They brought me over another toothbrush and toothpaste. Next day, we go out all day, we get back. Three things. Oops, hold on. Um, three things. On the bed, strewn about the bed, is this pile of rose petals with a handwritten apology note from, like, one of the housekeeping people. So, I mean, that was very nice, but it was not that big of a deal. Then there's a voicemail on the phone in the room. Like, I think the head of housekeeping apologizing. But the best part, and we missed it when we first walked in, a bottle of R Whispering Angel Rosé, which is one of our favorites, on ice, like, for us as a treat. I mean, over the top. Um, and the other thing is they really must profile people. Like, so, you know, you charge everything to the room so they know who you are and what you're eating and drinking. So they clearly know we like the Whispering Angel because I'm sure they have 32,000 bottles of wine at that hotel and the fact that they chose the one that we always drink <laughs> was not coincidence. And then the other thing about the hotel is then the next day we didn't finish the whole bottle of rosé so we asked them to send up some more ice and it took them a little long so Alicia called to check in on it and they must have been like oh you know is there something like what do you need we're sorry you know what what did you want the ice for and she was like well we just have a little wine left we wanted to chill it so we could drink it. Oh is it wine we have here at the hotel? She's like yes it was from the hotel. Oh, what bottle? We'll just send you up a new bottle. I was like, there is just nothing better than this. Nothing better. Um, so anyway, so Thursday we went shopping. Well, Thursday, yeah, we did a little shopping like on Robertson Boulevard. There's not much there. Used to be a really cool place to shop, but, and then like over around Melrose. Um, we went into Eskandar, which actually, this blouse is from there. Um, it's a light pink, like, roomy, beautiful, crisp blouse. Um, there were a couple other things I might have bought, but I didn't in there. And um, then we had lunch at the Ivy. We sat outside. You know, the Ivy is just, it's really a beautiful restaurant. Like, the multicolored flowers, like, gorgeous. Oh, and can I just tell you my hair? I know it doesn't look good right now. I'm getting it done today. So that's why it's not really up to the normal standards. <laughs> anyway, so then Alicia actually had a client out there. So we met her client at, I think we met her at Neiman's. We did like a lightning speed lap around Neiman's, a lightning speed lap around Saks. But then her client actually took us to some of the more like local stores over like in Beverly Hills near there. And one of them was this store called Harari. 
I got this really cool outfit. It's not my normal, like it's definitely different and outside of my norm, but I love it. So um, this was like, they sent me, they sent me, everything I bought there, by the way, I had shipped because the sales tax in California is 9%. But the gal that helped us was lovely. Like she wrote, you know, wrote me this nice thank you note. But anyway, I love this store. It's super cool. A lot of this stuff is very E.C. Miyake-esque. So if you remember E.C. Miyake, um, he's a fashion, Japanese fashion designer, was very into like architectural clothes and like crinkle fabrics and just really super cool stuff. Like he was definitely an innovator. Sorry, one of my drawers isn't totally closed. So I'm like, um, but anyway, so I got this super cool outfit. So let's back up. It's very colorful indeed. So basically I should take, it's a cape and a dress. So it's a, let's take the cape off of the thing here. So it's a long, flowy dress and it's that got it's that crinkle and this is actually by this line called pleats please I think which is um I think once upon a time was an Isi Miyake like diffusion line but I don't think he has anything to do with it anymore yeah pleats please but um so it's this kind of you know flowy crinkly dress and then with this, I'm going to wear over it, but this I'll also wear separately. So I actually think I'm going to dress, so Tuesday is the hot pink party. I actually think I'm going to dress this up with like my gold ankle strap Manolo Blahnik shoes. And then I have a hunter green croc clutch that I think I'm going to carry. But I also, it has orange in here. I could also carry my orange like Chanel bag. So anyway, that was one of the things I got. I loved this store. So I got this Eskender top, and then I'm waiting. They're near this store, Harari. So this store is, I can't remember the name of the street. I'll put the link to their website. But um, the store is on the same street, or right down the street from Lisa Vanderpump's Villa Blanca. Um, because I ended up meeting Alicia and her client. So I popped into this other cool shoe store called Madison while they went on to another store. And then they were having a coffee at Villa Blanca and I met them over there. But um, so anyway, I Harari, cool store. And then Madison, I got two pairs of Laurence Dacad shoes, which I don't have yet. But when I get them, I'll show you. Is that it? I feel like I should be telling you more. Um... Let's see, what else about our trip? You know, other than that, oh, we went to, we did a Warner Brothers studio tour, which was really fun. We sat on the Friends Central Park couch, which was super cool. And, the, you know, the studio tour is interesting because it's just, you don't really think about how they actually make TV shows and movies. But it must be really, really weird because, like, you know, the way they shoot it, shoot them is not in chronological order. You know, it's not in the order that we see it. It's like, okay, today we're going to film inside and we're going to do all the stuff on this set but tomorrow we might film all the outside stuff and like how they take one set and make it like one like they have all these outdoor like sets that they you know different I guess production companies productions you know change up to make it look the way they want it so they showed us where like where was the ER hospital which might have also been in West Wing or you know something like that so that was really, really, like, it was a neat experience. It wasn't that nice of a day, so it was a nice day to do that. But um, my favorite place is we had a really, really fun lunch at Ciccone's. Um, and then we had dinner the last night we were there at the Sunset Tower Bar, which is one of my favorite places to go in L.A. Um, so anyway, it was a really fun trip. And I think that's really it. So today I'm going to get my hair done. I'm going to meet Alicia. We're going to go bop around a little, and we're going to go have we're going to go to the sushi restaurant tonight. Um, so I'll just, I know I just showed you this, but this is my new Eskandar top. I have a Chanel necklace on. This is Hitchcock Madrona, this cuff. And then these are current Elliott jeans. These are Ferragamo sandals. And this is my new Dior bag, which I've been carrying a lot with an Hermes scarf. I actually have like two light pink bags, but I don't know. Like, I feel like I want to carry the Dior bag. <laughs> so anyway, who knows? Maybe I'll change up the bag. But at the moment, this is it. Um, okay, hope you have a great weekend. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Good morning. It is Sunday, May 15th at 10.07. I um, 
this is an unusual Sunday video for me because I'm actually dressed and going to meet a couple friends for brunch. And so I thought I would just quickly show you my outfit. And also, I realized that I didn't fully give you the story of um, my afternoon after the party in the park. So I went to the hat party in the park lunch, and you know, you saw previous to this my get up and my hat and all that, and it was really fun. But I don't think I told you that after we went to the Bristol Lounge at the Four Seasons, which is what we do almost every year, it's like me and my group of friends and then lots of other groups of friends, like lots of other groups of ladies. Like the place is filled with the ladies and their crazy hats and all that. Um, and we basically while away like the rest of the afternoon drinking wine and yapping about, you know, whatever. So I told you also that Justin Bieber was staying at the Four Seasons. So there was a Biebs sighting. <laughs> it was really, it was really, I feel kind of bad. I mean, Part of me feels bad for celebrities because your life is not your own, and part of me is like you kind of signed up for it. But with somebody like him, who really is still a kid, I do feel a little bad. Um, I mean, I know he's technically an adult, but he's so young. And anyway, so he came into the Bristol Lounge, and it was not a good showing for ladies in there, in my age demographic, because they, like, a whole horde of them, like, chased after him with their phones and kind of surrounded him. And I feel like, you know, I think celebrity sightings are fun and I, you know, rubberneck a little and I'm, you know, it's a fun story and all that, but I, I, I just personally wouldn't want to invade somebody's personal space like that. So anyway, so he was there and then his security and the Four Seasons security, you could clearly tell the difference. Four Seasons security were in suit and ties and his security was in like, you know, the casual like, you know, hoodies and things like that. But they moved him off to a table like, pretty much in the corner facing the wall and then they were trying not to let people pass like even close to him. So anyway, that was the excitement and I did in fact see a bigger celebrity here in Boston than I did in my trip out to LA. <laughs> so um, I think that's really it. I'm off to brunch today. I am going um, just to Whole Foods this afternoon to try to like get some grocery shopping done. And then I think I'm going to try to organize, like you see all those clothes hanging up on the back, like clothes from my trip are still not totally put away in my closet. So I need to kind of try to organize some things, especially because my mother and my sister are coming to visit me this week, just for like a day or two. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's really it. Tuesday's the hot pink party. You know, I showed you my outfit that I'm going to wear. I'm psyched about that. But that's it. Um, oh, so anyway, today I am wearing... Okay, this, I've shown this to you before. This is a St. John top. These are, I think, AG jeans. This is a St. John fringy jacket. I'm going to wear my Chanel bag. And these are Laurence Ducade, like, booty sandals that I've had for a few years that I realized I need to whip out. Um... So I'll wear this to brunch, and then I'll probably change into flats for the trek to Whole Foods, because I'll walk there and walk back. Um, and while these shoes are not uncomfortable, they're actually quite comfortable. If I'm lugging groceries and stuff, they might not be the right. They might not be the right shoe for that job. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. I hope you've had a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye.